Let's look at the scenario of data science on data warehouses. Let's first consider the challenges. Integrating data from various sources into a single data warehouse can be complex and time consuming. Ensuring consistency, accuracy, and timeliness of data across different systems is always challenging. Data cleaning and pre-processing is labor intensive and when dealing with large volumes coming from various sources, the data warehouse can fall short. Maintaining the performance of a data warehouse at very large scales can become challenging. Even though the data warehouses are also moving to the cloud, it is kind of a work in progress. Data warehouses by design were not meant to work with real-time streams or processes and hence they struggle even though new features are arriving, their performance and compatibility is always questionable. While dealing with multiple external sources, the data warehouse can face a challenge when it comes to security and compliance, which is paramount in the modern times. Data science might demand breaking down data silos to ensure accessibility and coherent access to data across the organization, challenging the architecture of data warehouses. Data warehouses are optimized for structured data types and hence working with unstructured data is always a challenge even though if new features are included, they will not perform as well. Query tuning for high performance on a data warehouse is a specialist job. It cannot be done as simply as a data science framework would be doing at an interface level. At large scales, having a dedicated warehouse to maintain and run that particular workload will turn out to be much more expensive. It is a tough task to upskill people on a data warehouse, data science and domain at the same time. Let's consider certain use cases where a data warehouse still makes sense. Data warehouses are optimized for handling SQL queries, making them ideal for complex querying and regular reporting. If the use case is only about aggregating and running analytics, data warehouses still hold a lot of value compared to a data science framework. Data warehouses are designed to store large volumes of historical data, enabling long-term trend analysis and historical reporting. The read optimizations in a data warehouse make them ideal for reporting and business intelligence use cases which heavily rely on reading data. Once ingested, the data governance and security features of the data warehouse are superlative and time tested. Data warehouses are meant to work with scheduled ETL so they can handle the routine data refreshes far more efficiently compared to any data science framework. The predictable workloads of a data warehouse product make its cost of operation also a very predictable entity. Seamless integration with BI and reporting tools is a given for a data warehouse that has been its basic use case for decades. Enforcing data standardization and cleansing makes it a very useful tool for business reporting and analytics from a data consistency perspective. Various integrations with tools make accessing a data warehouse far more friendly compared to any programming interface one might require with a data science framework. Let's quickly go over some pros and cons of materialized views. Let's look at some pros first. Being pre-computed data, they can significantly speed up complex queries. Being a separate pre-computed storage, they can reduce the load and traffic on the source tables. Encapsulating complex queries in a materialized view can make them reusable for the future users. They can be used for maintaining data consistency, especially when replicating data across databases. They are efficient at aggregating large volumes of data and hence useful for reporting. Being a separate copy, they can provide the availability of the data even if the underlying data source is temporarily unavailable. By design, the materialized views demand extra storage because they are a copy of the data. Maintaining the freshness of a materialized view always demands extra compute resources. Under concurrent access, while excessive reads and writes are happening, the materialized view's performance can be severely degraded. Designing an efficient materialized view is planning intensive and it can become complex based on the queries it is representing. If not maintained, the materialized views will have staleness of data. Materialized views are not a drop-in replacement for the normal views. They can be far more rigid compared to the normal views in databases.